Tony. That's me. That's Welcome me. back, by the way. Thank you very much. Stu nice to be back. You have made a career out of some really groundbreaking shows. First of all, Taxi. You're never gonna believe who I just had as a fair. Oh. Neil Armstrong, the first guy who ever walked on the moon sitting in my cab. Mm -hmm. And on my way to do the interview today, I thought, you know, would Taxi be a show today? Because with Uber and Lyft, there are no hubs, right? The guys aren't sitting around. The water cooler is shooting the crap. Hey, that's a great fair, Tony. Where'd you take him? The unemployment office. <laughs> so do you think Taxi could be made today? Well, I think any show that has that quality of writing could be made today. I mean, there were, I don't know if you noticed, there's still some taxis out there, so I don't know. Then who's the boss? I'm Tony Maselli. I'm here about the job. Oh, I'm sorry. There must be a mistake. This job is for a housekeeper. That's me, Mr. Goodmop. <laughs> and I think probably a lot of the country thinks of you as a father figure because of, of your role in his boss. Yes, I like this. I, I, I think I was voted one of the 50 best fathers on TV once. Oh, is that right? <laughs> and how did your three children vote you? No, my kids love me. I think my kids are, uh, You know, Kat, you haven't heard about my kids, have you? Uh, Tony, I haven't. So that means that's a good thing you haven't heard about celebrity kids, right? All right, so... That is an excellent point. Yeah, yeah. That is an excellent point. You think about TV. I was thinking about this, Kat. So before TV came along, we had fragmented uh, culture. Everybody listened to whatever radio station. I think TV comes along and we all start watching the same thing. And for many years, most of the TV shows are saying the same thing. I mean, you could do Leave it to Beaver and Who's the Boss, same kind of family. We're going to be good to each other. We're going to try. And so we had that collective culture that we all watched. And now we're starting to break apart again. We're starting to fragment. And, uh, and, I, and I worry for the collective culture. OK. Now, those shows mm -hmm. are aspirational. The Leave It to Beaver, the Norman Rockwell sort of picture of a family. That's aspirational. We both are parents mm -hmm. and children. Mm -hmm. We know that family life is actually really pretty hard. Yeah. Not terrible, not awful, not hand-wringing every second, but hard. Of course. I mean, so that's what television today reflects. And again, I, I think it has a lot to do with the fragmentation of what we watch. And, and social media also amplifies you know, not interested in good models either. Uh, social media. <laughs> They're so interested in bad models because exactly. that's what gets you watching. Exactly, exactly. And by the way, we're all guilty. We're not all guilty. But there's some people more guilty than others. How guilty are you? I'm guilty to a degree, but not uh, to the degree other people are, I think. I mean, look, listen, I mean, uh, I'll tell you what I think we should do. I think we should accept responsibility for it. What does that we mean? Should, well, we, we, we shouldn't go out and say, oh, these, these kids, they're this, they're that, this happened, and this guy was when we're sort of helping it along. I'm not saying we should change Let's make it actionable. Anything. Today, okay. what would you do to take some more responsibility? Well, I'm, I tried it in my own life. I can only do what I can do. I, I try to, uh, the shows I do and the, the things I do, I try to you know, keep that kind of thinking in mind. Look, don't get me wrong, I don't have goody two-shoes here, but I, I just try to think about, uh, certainly when I was doing Who's the Boss, that's all I thought about. I wanted to send a good message. Well, I mean, she works hard and she's real smart. Hey, you could do the same thing. I can't. Sure. Then I think I'll be the manager of the Mets. <laughs> You'll be so proud of you when you're out there kicking dirt on umpires. I wasn't proselytizing, I wasn't preaching, but I wanted to send a good message. And what was I the kids message? watching. Well, that that a family's the most that family's really important. That loving loving each other and being there for each other is really important, and we don't see enough of that. That's all I mean. That's so interesting. So you're doing now sort of throwback shows. You're show that you're doing with music is all play the Great American Songbook yeah, but it's all, but classics. It's, but it's also, yeah, it's certainly that. But at the end of the stories, there's some present stories, too. It's not only the classic. Maybe I'll shine. I'd like to see your name right beside mine. Do you have a number that brings down the house every time? Um, yeah, you know, they really like when I tap dance. Can we do it? Can you show me a, a move? A move. Watch, watch. You go. <laughs> I feel like it's all on that. Well, no, it's not. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have a little foot too. You, you have gotta, to have a little rhythm. A little foot. I don't have it. Pull back. I don't have it. All right. Well, those crazy shoes. You I know wear these are too. a little crazy, but but so next time I'll wear something better. I'll yeah, do it better. Really. Do you have actual? Oh, right away, <laughs> Jesus! I'm doing the best I can. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. Did you just ask me if I have actual tap shoes? Like yeah, with taps. No, of course I do. But I, mean, I don't. What do you mean? No, you just did fine with sneakers on. 
I don't think it's no. You have to have shoes. You gotta have shoes. So you could like perform anything. You're a performer. I'm a performer. Okay. That's really what I like to do. And that's why you're doing this, right? I mean, I ha when I heard you were doing it, I was like, this guy just wants to. You love it. You love I to do. give to the audience, and you love to get from the audience. I do. Yes, I do. You know, having done this now for a while, I started doing this like people don't realize it, but I started doing this like in '96 when I decided I'm going to be a song and dance man. So you start, and trust me. It's hard. It takes time to get good at it. And you have to do it. You can't learn about it. Yeah. You can't learn it. You gotta go and do it and embarrass yourself. And it's pretty thing, naked, right? I mean, it's like, I'm singing, this is my voice, I am my is instrument, and, and, this is and it. And I know I'm not the greatest singer, I'm not the greatest dancer, I'm not the greatest ukulele, I'm not the greatest joke teller, but all together, pretty good show. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming back, and we'll see you next time. Okay, Kat.